Buenos días. The weather's great. It's the wind's blowing. It's cool. It ain't hot. Welcome to the fall. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kelly G. And I am Coach Garcia. <laughs> Make sure you stay true, hit the like button. And don't be a hater all your life, subscribe right now. We've been, we did our whole lap. I came to run with Lucky this morning because I felt really motivated since these past two days I've been working out. Plus we woke up super sore and we're like, if we don't run or stretch, it's just gonna get worse. Yeah, I couldn't sit down on the toilet. I was sore, my legs were hurt. <laughs> uh, so that's the situation right now. We're about to do one more lap around here. I think we're just gonna walk it though. And then we're gonna get home and get ready. Cause your girl's starving. Think I want some mole. This morning after we got in for our run and before we got to work, I told him, man, let's, let me go take you to this Alamo house and show you what these tacos do in Texas, man. Show you what this Texas taqueria is all about. So far, we've taken him to Papado. We've taken him to Rudy's Barbecue. And then we've also taken him where? To oh. get a steak. A oh, yeah. The first Texas night, he got steak. a Texas Longhorn steak. Then we took him to Papado's the next day. Yesterday we went to uh, Rudy's. Rudy's Barbecue. So he got Texas Barbecue, the seafood, and now we gotta go get these breakfast tacos. And then, and then tomorrow I told him we're gonna take him to get some ceviche. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So apparently they only eat tri-tip in California. They don't have brisket. He was, he was So he was like asking us like to take him to go eat brisket. He so, never had brisket. I yeah. couldn't believe it. So he had it yesterday and he said it was bomb.com. He was like, y'all are so disrespectful out here in Texas with y'all's food. Y'all don't play. I said, now you know why I'm always <laughs> eating on the vlog. Now you always know why you see me always eating, man. We got good food out here in Texas. That's why I, I be wanting to move out of Texas and go retire in the mountains somewhere. But man, I, I know I would miss the restaurants in Texas. Honestly though, yeah. But anyways, like y'all saw, we went running this morning. Like he always goes. Today, I had to push him the extra mile. Because I did wake up sore. And so, uh, we went. But just to let y'all know, we're working on this 90-day boot camp challenge. And we're not just going to be, like, trying to tell y'all to do stuff. I decided, I decided that I was going to take initiative and actually do it with y'all as well. Because so far, it's only been really lucky that does everything that comes in that 90-day um, challenge. challenge boot camp. I do parts here and there. I'm not so engaged in it. But today was the start of my 90-day challenge. So I'm so excited because, I mean, we all need it, you know? So that's what's up. That's what's up. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button for your girl, you know, because... I didn't want to get up and go run, but I did it. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and it's harder pushing that stroller when you're running. It's like you're pushing weight while you're running. So, since it is Saturday, it was a little easy. 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 <laughs> easy. It was a little easier for us to do it. But, you know, the struggle is going to be during the weekdays because that means that we're going to have to wake up even earlier yeah, since we have to get up and get the girls ready and take them to school and do all that extra stuff so that means that we're gonna have to like start our day even earlier during the week so that's where the challenge is gonna come in and kind of like kick us in the butt but we've got this and i know if we can do it you can too so we're so excited for y'all to get y'all's hands on this 90 day boot camp challenge uh we we've been stressing it but we really haven't gave y'all enough details on it 
but I can't wait to y'all to y'all for y'all to see what is in it and what is in store because it is an amazing and life-changing yeah and it's a great way to end the year for 90 days you'll be able to start fresh January 1st you'll be going into the new year with a whole new mindset yeah. by the time you finish reading these books that I got for y'all and then and doing these exercises and talking to God every day praying every morning get building a relationship with God when you start this 2021 you'll be going into the new year as a new you so right now I am excited because I want to go eat and y'all are gonna come with us let's go Thank you so much. What is it? Go get him. Go tell him, beat him up. Go beat him up. <laughs> what do you think? I feel like doing that. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> One taco de pollo. Tell her I want some chicken. You just yeah, told her. Man. <laughs> I, I said pollo. She looking at me. She like she don't know what pollo means. Cause you said pollo. <laughs> yeah. Lucky was over here struggling while I was buying some pan dulce. He was over here like oh, la, la. as soon as I got back, he was like, help me out here. Things, don't you know, Steve? I know a little bit. Enough to order some tacos, but I had no trouble. Lucky over here struggling. <laughs> you should have helped him. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he ain't no son. <laughs> That's funny. I, I just tacos. ordered me a mole plate, un plato de mole, and I'm so excited because like I'm starving. All right, the indoor is closed. You can't sit inside, so we gotta sit outside and enjoy our breakfast. Okay, Kelly got mole. She was trying to be difficult. One of these fancy I get? mole. That's what it's called, right? He said mole. I said, mole. man, you got some mole. <laughs> you got Tex Mex. You got that holy mole. <laughs> Houston got the fruit, and we got these tacos, man. Yeah, buddy. Come on, let's try it out. You got to give it the Luciano TV taste testing rating. All right, man. These better be good because we drove a long way, look. You got to come to the city for this, man. man. You got to come to the city. Hang on, taco number two. How was that first one? Oh man, that first one went down like butter, man. It was amazing. I'm officially going on detox as soon as I get home. Well, our mission is complete. We got to be uh, Coach C to eat a taco when he said he couldn't eat no tortilla. <laughs> I tried to get him to some sweet bread. He said he can't eat the bread. We got him on the taco, but he could not eat the bread. <laughs> but he's been enjoying his uh, Texas festivities with the food from Papados to the steakhouse to the barbecue to the taco house and we got one more spot to take him tomorrow and then he's gonna go home on Monday back to California we're going to church tomorrow we gotta uh, take him to get wrapped church tomorrow and introduce him to Pastor Juan we just went in <laughs> yes we did but we can't be eating like that on a daily, especially because we're starting this 90-day boot camp challenge. Hey, 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 but you know, the, the meal plan in there is optional. That's not that. The main focus on the 90-day on the thing challenges is praying, running, and reading. That's the main thing. All the other things are just added in there. The meal plan and the workout and all that. So, um... Even though they're optional, your girl is gonna take the option. Anyways, we're heading to the grocery store. Coach C is coming with us because he is gonna help us shop clean. So basically, he is gonna teach us how to stay away from anything that is processed and stuff like that, you know? Like he's not really feeling it. I, I'm not here for that. But I am, I'm all the way in, so let's go. All right, so Kelly's feeling sore as heck, right? So we're gonna try to find her some electrolytes to kind of break up some of that soreness and the lactic acid and all that sort of stuff. 
So if not, she has to drink salt water, which is nasty. Gross. <laughs> That one or which one? This one. Plant based. Plant based. Water. With bananas. And, um, I'll take this one. It's cheaper. Bananas, Houston, bananas. stop. It's this one. Right? Well, that one's a good one too, but this is the organ I'm talking about. Right? Oh, that's even cheaper. That one, this one. This one. As a woman, you probably want to stay away from the whey protein just because the plant's going to be a lot better for your, your insides. You drink the whey protein, you make letting too many rip. You know what I'm saying? That's so, gross. Yeah, sometimes you, that's why they call it protein farts. So what? I've never heard of that. Yeah. So let's do vanilla. Yep. So you can take that either way. You can take that, make it a you know a strawberry shake. You can make it a blueberry shake. You can make it whatever type of shake. Milk and banana. Yep. And it was only 19.99 at Kroger. Yep. Amazon had it for like 25 bucks. Good job, Houston. This way. If you ever have a sweet tooth, but you don't want to go overboard, you get you some halo tops, right? These are kind of like ketogenic uh, type um, brands that are they're coming out with, so that way it keeps the glycemic load, the sugar load down. As you can see, Simple Truth has their own version of it as well, right? So halo tops or Simple Truth keep you solid. These right here, this is gonna spike your glycemic load, which means your sugar load because there's pineapple and peaches. But this one right here is gonna keep the sugars very low, but still taste good. Okay. Because anything in the berry family, it's low glycemic. So we just need this, some almond milk and some bananas. Yeah, yeah. good to go. Hold and up. some spinach and uh, protein powder and peanut butter yep. or almond butter. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna put that in a blender. Lucky's, uh... All right, let's go, let's go. I'll put some, uh, some black seed oil in there too. Oh, okay. Look at you now, look, look at you. <laughs> That's right. So here's the thing. When you're talking oils, right? So you have coconut oil, you have avocado oil, you have olive oil. Those are kind of ones you primarily stick with. Now, when you're getting real specific on your nutrition, you want to try to start grabbing these type of bad boys because of the fact there's zero calories, okay? So they, they make these things to where if you eat um, all of coconut oil, and instead of oil, the fats go through the roof fast. Calories stack up very, very fast. But if you're using the, uh, things like this, you save yourself a ton of calories. Does that make sense? Right? So you don't have to worry about you eating too many calories if you're just using this in your spray and you're making eggs, you're making all that sort of stuff. But what I will say is like when you're trying to have some good good, take some of this, fry up some platano. Oh man. man. So what do I get? Because I usually get this one. Yeah, that's that's cool. I'm just saying that if you want to save yourself some calories, I would get one of these and one of these. So one of these you maybe cook the kids, do their stuff. And if you're trying to save yourself some fat calories, just use one of those. Well, the kids got oil, I'm saying for me. Yeah. Are you ready to eat healthy? Are you ready to eat healthy, Dada? You got cereal? Yeah. You're so awesome, kid. Houston's over here like, I don't know what y'all talking about. I want all the goodies. All right. All right, we're getting up out the grocery store. And the reason why I don't like shopping healthy, 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 because I feel like it's a waste of money, because halfway through it, you just don't stick to it, and then you just go back to eating regular. But Kelly's planning on sticking to the meal plan this time. So let's do it. And uh, we're about to go home and barbecue some steaks. Gia. Yeah. And my friend came through with some more merch. Gigi's actually wearing one of her shirts right now, Estilo Gin Gems. And she did tell me she was sending us a package. So let's see what she got this time. She's the one that sent us the Just Pray hats and the Just Pray shirts. So the Houstonian shirts, all that. One and two. One so I was telling her that I, I was hating on Lucky for having this hoodie and she sent it to me. So she sent me the God First hoodie. Well, she didn't send me nothing else? Yeah. She sends everybody something all the time. So she's got her cards made. Shop at Estilo Gen Gems. Do y'all see that? And then her Instagram. Let's see what she got for us this time. It's God's will for me. 
It's God's will for me. You, you haven't heard that? You haven't heard that? No. It's your way, not my way. Nah, it's like, they're like, it's like a thing. It's trendy right now. Remember I was like telling Houston, it's your big ears for me. And he was like, it's you. <laughs> Oh. It's for me. oh, so it's for me is what's trending, not God's will. It's God's will for me. It's God's will for me. This is dope. So these are yours, babe. Oh, that's mine? Yeah, this is a large. And then she sent you a basic just print Estilo Jen Jims on the sleeve shirt. Okay, and then the kids actually, she actually just came out with a new shirt that says... Stop bullying. And this is obviously for Baby Row. And this one is for Houston. Aww. Houston need to stop bullying. <laughs> Honestly. And then this is for the girls, which is the same thing. Stop bullying. And you're gonna wear that to school on Monday, Gigi. Same thing, stop yeah. bullying. And then Houston and Elijah are last. This is Kingston. Bless up. Dope. Dope. And then Elijah got a Houstonian shirt. Oh, he's gonna like that. So huge shout out to Jen. Make sure y'all shop at Jen Estilo John. Okay, make sure y'all shop at Estilo Jen Gyms. Jen is with a double N, and the gyms is J I M Z dot com. So. EstiloGenGems.com. Always looking good, always affordable. With God, all is possible. If you don't look good, we don't look good. It's my motto to live by, man. Thank y'all for watching. I got some birthday shout outs. Y'all stay tuned. Before we get out of here, I gotta give a birthday shout out to Jason Martinez. Today's the 19th? Yes. Happy birthday, Jason Martinez on September 19th is your birthday. Niona, turning eight years old from Baytown, Texas. Happy birthday, Niona. Jessica Gilbertson, happy birthday, Jessica. I hope y'all have a blessed day. Hold on, hold on, hold on, one more. TJ White Shirt from Colleen, Texas. Shout out to TJ, happy birthday TJ, man. Ain't nothing but love. Wish y'all love, peace and prosperity. And uh, we'll see y'all when we see y'all. This is Coach Garcia.